Hi, Bill Edstrom here. In this video, I want to show you some examples of using audio bend. I'm going to start with using just a stereo drum part. This is actually the very same part we imported from my desktop a few videos ago. And then we're going to also work on the lead line using some manual audio bending as well. But this way, I can go through some of the essential workflows of using audio bend and a little bit of the interaction between the audio bend panel and the quantize panel. Both can be used kind of interactively back and forth when you're working with audio or audio events. So to get started, let's just take a look at what we've got here. If I really zoom in on this, you can see that some of the downbeats here are not quite right on. So you can see that there's a little bit of variation from the tempo, even though generally this is played to a consistent beat, it is slightly off. Now if we want to tighten that up, we can use audio bend and use quantizing almost look just like you would with MIDI. Now to get started, the best way is just to open the audio bend panel. That's this icon right here at the top. And then the very first action is to analyze the audio. Now often sensitive is what I find works best, but we'll try standard and click analyze. This will go through and try to place bend markers at each transient. Now you'll notice here it did miss this, which is probably a hi-hat tick. So we can turn up the sensitivity, and you can see it's not picking it up. In which case, you just switch this to sensitive and analyze it again. And now we get all kinds of additional extra bend markers. So just turn the threshold down until we're just getting the primary ones. And we can also look through the file a little bit more and just see if it generally worked better. And in the book, I told you that Studio One...